Or he just wanted to chant the holy name, but people would criticize him. One Brahmana told him, Where in the scriptures does it say that you have to chant the name loudly? You're supposed to chant the name in your mind. You're not supposed to chant the name out loud. This foolish Brahmana said like that to Haridas Thakur. He was criticizing because Haridas used to chant loudly. He would chant out loud. The people didn't like it. And this Brahmana, he said, you're chanting the net. This is not according to scripture. You're supposed to chant in your mind softly. But Haridas Thakur quoted from the 10th canto Srimad Bhagavatam. There's a verse there in the chapter which is entitled The Liberation of Vijadhara. Vijadhara, the Vij Vijadhara is a higher planet of the Devas and there was a demigod there called Vasudev, the Vijadhara Vasudev. He had been cursed to become a serpent. And so it happened that one time Nanda Maharaj was observing Shivratri and that serpent came, began to swallow Nanda Maharaj. And Nanda Maharaj was calling out, Help! Krishna! Krishna! Save me! Whenever he's in trouble, devotees will always call to Krishna. And the other Vrishbhasi cowherd men, they came, they had burning logs, and they tried to burn the snake. They couldn't get the serpent to release Nanda Maharaj. But then Lord Krishna came. 
And Lord Krishna came and just touched him with his feet, with his toes. He touched him, and immediately that serpent became the Vijadara Vasudev. And he explained, the, the, the Vasudev explained what happened, how he had been cursed for some offense. And he went on to glorify, he, he went on to speak about the holy name. He said, what to speak of being touched by the lotus feet of the Lord. Simply by chanting the holy name of the Lord, one can be liberated. By chanting and hearing the holy name of the Lord, we can be liberated. So that verse, this was Haridas Thakur, he explained like this, that it's mentioned there in Srimad Bhagavatam, that the loud chanting of the holy name can deliver a person from all sinful reactions. Haridas Thakur also said, well, who is better? One who can maintain one person who only takes care of himself or someone who can maintain a hundred people? Is it better to just maintain yourself or is it better to maintain a hundred people? So Haridas Thakur used this logic to say to the Brahmana, if I just chant in my mind, that's good for me, but it doesn't do any good for anybody else. But if I chant loudly, then everyone who hears, they can all be benefited. Srila Prabhupada told us, there was one devotee, he opened a temple in one city in the USA. And he, he said to Prabhupada, Prabhupada, nobody's coming. He said, just chant. There are many living entities everywhere. Let them hear the holy name. Even the insects, the ants, everything, they all benefit by hearing the holy name. I was telling yesterday about this one Babaji who was there in Jagannath Puri and he was preaching, don't chant the holy name. Don't chant, just chant in your mind. And he, he, gave, his, he gave his followers another mantra to chant. So this is, you get this, all these nonsense philosophies. So Haridas Thakur was a victim of that. This one man was criticizing Haridas Thakur. Uh, the, the, he, he, when Haridas Thakur went to the home of Haranya and Govardhan Majumda, they, one was the father of Raghunath, one was the uncle of Raghunath. So they kept the fact. Why so much interference? What is the static? They question. They question Haridas. Oh no, Haridas came to visit the house there, and the family had a, a smarter Brahmin who was the family priest. So the family priest did not like Haridas Thakur, because Haridas Thakur was born in a Yavana family. He was a Mohammedan. And this person was a smarted Brahmin. So he thought, why they respect this Yavana? He only thought about the birth. He didn't see the qualification of Haridas Thakur. So he said to Haridas, he said, how do you get liberation? And Haridas Thakur said, simply by even a glimpse of chanting the holy name one can be liberating. Haridas Thakur said, even you chant the holy name at Nama Bas. Nama Bas means the intermediate level, the shadow of the name. He said, that can liberate you. And the Brahmana got really upset and angry. No, can it be how you can get liberation so easily? Mm -hmm. So the smarter Brahmins, the Gyanis, their goal is to get liberation. And they have to endeavor for many lives to get liberation. But Haridas Thakur was saying just a glimpse of chanting the holy name can liberate one. 
So the Brahmin said, if I can get liberation so easily, then my nose will fall off. So Haridas Thakur said, yes. Yeah, Haridas Thakur, if I don't get liberation so easily, my nose will fall off. And what happened was that Brahmana became a uh, victim with leprosy and his nose melted and fell off and he had to leave. And the family threw him out of the house. They said, you've offended a great devotee. We don't want you to serve in our house anymore. Get out. We don't want your service anymore. And in three days he got leprosy. He had to go and live with all the leopards. He had to go out of the city, go out of the town and go and live away from the, the, the people because leprosy is very easily spread to other people. So that shows the power of Haridas, the people who criticize them. Anybody criticized Harida, they would suffer, they would get severe reactions. Haridas didn't have any, any feel, but bitter feeling to them. But the Lord does not tolerate offenses against his pure devotee. Krishna can tolerate offenses against himself, but he cannot tolerate offenses against his devotees. He offend his devotees. We give the example, you can tolerate the heat of the sun on the head, but not on our feet. The hot ground becomes unbearable. Even you can tolerate the sun on your head, but very difficult to tolerate the heat on your feet. So the devotees take shelter at the lotus feet of the Lord. So you offend a devotee, it's like an offense against the lotus feet of the Lord. Krishna will not tolerate. So Haridas Thakur was living here and there was a cave and sometimes some people would come to visit him. Some people would come even though he was living in the cave. But they were, they told Haridas that please move to another place because there's a snake in here. There's a big poison snake. And it's they could smell the poison from the snake. It was a big cobra, very poisonous. And they said, if you move to another place, it will be much better. We feel very worried for our safety and for your safety. So Haridas Thakur, he said, if there is a snake here, then I will leave. If there is a snake here, I will leave, or the snake can leave. We cannot both stay here. And so, within a minute, they saw this big snake crawl out of the cave and go out. And all the, the people who were sitting there with Haridas, they all witnessed how that snake left the cave. And Haridas could remain in the cave and chant the holy name. So this is the glory of Haridas Thakur, that he could continue his chanting without disturbance. Because the Lord is in the heart of the snakes, and so the snake also took the instruction. He didn't want to disturb Haridas, and so he left, and Haridas could remain and chant the holy name. So. This is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, among other reasons, this is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made Haridas the Nam Acharya, our Acharya in the chanting of the Holy Name. That throughout his life he chanted three lakh names. Even when he was a young man, he was tested by the personification of Maya Devi, Maya Devi came in the form of a very beautiful young woman and Haridas Thakur initiated her into the chanting of Hare Krishna. Then another time there was a prostitute hired by an evil-minded man and the prostitute, was her intention was to seduce Haridas. But Haridas made her into a devotee. She was saying, Haridas will chant my name in a day. After he's been with me, he will chant my name. But Haridas made her into a devotee. And she 
He told her, go home, give away everything and come back. And she went home, she gave away everything, she came back, and Haridas gave her his place. He said, now you stay here, and chant the holy name, and Haridas left. So this is something of the, the past tense of Haridas Thakur, such a wonderful devotee. When Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Jagannath Puri, then he lamented that, how will I get association? So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him that you can also come to Puri. So Haridas also came to live at Jagannath Puri and he lived on the beach. He, he couldn't go into the temple, but he lived on the beach. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu every day would come and give him prasadam. And it was there on the beach at Jagannath Puri that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, had big kirtans and at that time Haridas left his body and Lord Chaitanya picked up Haridas Thakur's body and then put him into Samadhi. And his Samadhi is there on the beach at Jagannath Puri. And then Lord Chaitanya personally arranged a big festival in his honor after his departure. They went, they went begging in the marketplace and got so many provisions and they made a big feast and distributed prasadam for everyone in honor of Haridas Thakur. So we are remembering the pastimes of Haridas Thakur. He liked to chant the holy name, he liked to dance in the kirtans. He was a wonderful devotee. And he was from the Muslim family. But his, sometimes, they, sometimes Chaitanya Mahaprabhu referred to him as Brahma. That he was actually, Haridas Thakur was the incarnation of Brahma. But sometimes we also say it's the incarnation of Prahlad Maharaj, who came to take part in the pastime. He didn't want to remain. He knew Lord Chaitanya was going to leave the world soon, so he begged Lord Chaitanya, let me depart from the world before you leave. And so it happened that Haridas Thakur could give up his body in the presence of all the devotees and in the midst of Kirtan. So this is all described in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Hare Krishna.
This is sung by Thakur Bhakti Vinod, Radha Krishna Ball. It's all about Mahaprabhu's style of preaching Krishna consciousness, all over Nadia. You can see the song, Radha Krishna Ball. Radha Krishna
The glories of Srila Haridash Thakur, Jaha Shrabon, Jaha Shrabone, those who hear these descriptions, Krishna Paibe Sharbata, they certainly will attain the shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna. 
This is the chapter, there's several chapters in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Antolila, Haridas Thakur is passing away. There's two chapters devoted entirely to Srila Haridas Thakur. Antolila, Haridas Thakur's departure and glories of Haridas Thakur. Sri Chaitanya Bhagavad, Adi Khanda, 16th chapter, glories of Srila Haridas Thakur, which describe events that occurred at this sanctified place of Pulia. <coughs> Oh, Bhakta Brinda, would you like to hear some of these descriptions? As from the lips, from the words, from the writings of Srila Vrindavan Thakur. Which, if you carry on in our programs over the next few days, we're going to where? Benur, where Srila Vrindavan Thakur wrote the Sri Chaitanya This is uh, Adi Kanda, 16th chapter, the glories of Vrindavan Thakur, Sri Chaitanya Bhutan Gramete. Avartinna Haridash, Shay Bhagwa, Shay Shabde, Shay Kirtan Prakash. <coughs> he appeared in a Bhutan, which is in East Bengal, now Bangladesh, near Joshore, also where Rupa and Sanatan appeared. Avartinna Haridash, Shay Bhagwa, Shay Shabde, Shay Kirtan Prakash. And because of his appearance there, the, 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 uh, the, the, the chanting of the Holy Name amongst all of the residents was. Prakash manifests because of his appearance there. So that's, as I was asking on the way in the, with the driver about the, the distance, the border of Bangladesh is 60, 70 kilometers from here, at Benapol. And then about two hours drive, you go to this Burdhan, Joshua district, where I So from there, let's, let's, let's read a couple of verses from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Let's describe him coming from there to here. It's very interesting what's mentioned. Haridash Jabe Nijigrihe Tiat Koilo Benapole Von Mote Koto Dinu Hilo. Giving up his place of birth, he went and remained in Benapol. That's on the border of India and Bangladesh. There is temple there also. We have Haridas Pur. And Prabhupada went there and, and uh, they gave that temple to Prabhupada. Haridas Pur. And then over the border is Benapol. So it's interesting that. Uh, as Maharaj was explaining, Haridas Thakur was, he was uh, victimized. He was attacked in two occasions. In, this time, in Benapol, you know the story with the Ram Chandra Khan, the envious landlord, landlord of that area who sent the prostitute to try to, he was envious of Haridas Thakur's, Maharaj was explaining very nicely. He wasn't a political person, Haridas Thakur. He was simply chanting the holy name, but he, he acquired so many followers. And this, this is a source of great pain to the materialists. And he's so much followers, so much appreciation, so much respect is shown to this localized person and not to me. So let me publicly, let me publicly humiliate and dis insult, humiliate his, his respect will be reduced. So here's what mentioned it. Near John Bonnet, Kutir Kore Tulashi Shebon, this is in Benapol on the border, near John Bonnet, alone in the forest, near John Bonnet. Kutir Kore, building a small hut. Tulashi Shebon, he worshipped Tulasi Devi. Ratri Din, Tin Lok Naam Shankirtan. Ratri Din, night and day, Tin Lok 300,000 names, Naam Shankirtan. So that's interesting as we were hearing that even before. We saw in Shantipur it mentions that Srila Advaita Thakur, he initiated Haridas Thakur, and there's a temple there. However, even before reaching Shantipur, this is halfway, he was already chanting Tin Lokka, three, 300,000 names a day, and he was also referred to as Haridash. He was also referred to as Haridash. Kotadin Thakya, Oilo Ganga Tire, Ashya Rahila Pulia Shantipur. So he stayed there for some time, and then he came here. Ashia Yohila Pulia Shantipur mentioned same name from that time. Shantipur and Pulia, same names, 500 years ago. And now Vrindavan Das Thakur, he describes some of the features of Haridas Thakur. Would you like to hear some of that? Bishoy Shukete Birakter Agradon. Agradonno, Bishoy Shukite, Bishoy Shukite Virakte. He was completely detached from sensual pleasure. Bishoy Shukite, 
Birokir Agragunna means extremely senior and advanced in, in detachment from sense enjoyment. Krishna Name, Puripunna Sri Bodon Dhamno. Krishna Name, all the time his, 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 his words were, were Krishna Name. And in this way, Dhamna, his mouth was so beautiful. So beautiful. Because it was always. He wasn't even talking marriage meant he wasn't giving blessings. Just Krishna Nam, constantly. So it was so attractive. Never for a moment did he feel any apathy or any, uh, what would you say, laziness towards chanting. You know, sometimes we, we get, ah, another four rounds to go. <laughs> even chanting many years still, ah, another you know, six rounds to go. Ah. We think like that sometimes. It takes a while to... He never ever thought like that, or never ever felt like that. Was always attracted to chanting. It was never anything which was like a burden for him. Sometimes he would just dance here in this place where he's cave. He'd just dance, cry in lamentation, and uh, and sometimes he just stay lay still, as though unconscious. Sometimes he spoke in mysterious languages, alokik shabda different language, mysterious languages. And then he explained the meaning of those, of what he spoke. So all the ecstatic symptoms, profuse crying, horripilation, laughing, fainting, perspiring, etc., they were always, they were manifest. Particularly mentioned when he was doing Kirtan, Prabhu Haridash Matra Nritur Prabheshila, Prabheshile. When he began to dance, Matra means only. He said just by dancing, just when the kirtan would begin. Kirtan would begin. Shokol, Ashiye, Tar, Shri, Bigraha, Mile. All of those symptoms would, would manifest in his body. Horripilation, crying, fainting, thirst firing, laughing. Just when he, Nutta uh, Prabheshile, when he began to dance. He began, there's a nice story there. He was, uh, he was the, the, the snake charmer. That story is there, the snake charmer. And when he, when he was hearing the glories, the, 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 Ananta Shesh was speaking through the, the snake charmer's mouth, the glories of the Lord. And when Haridash Thako heard that, he became overwhelmed and began dancing. And everyone stopped, the snake charmer stood aside and they all watched. Oh. One envious Brahmin, so many envious Brahmins attacked Haridash Thako, at least four, five, six. Envious Brahmin said, what is this, you know, this low class person? It's very, it's very educational, Haridash Thako's pastimes, in terms of the uh, Goshami Shidhanto, in terms of the principles of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement. Uh, it is not about birth, it's not about position, it's not about caste, it's not about the jati, the, the nation, the culture. It's Everyone is qualified and everyone is eligible and everyone can achieve success even from the most degraded Dinna Hinna Jokta Chilo Harinami It's a principle. And Haridas Thakur, so, so many, so many Brahmins become envious of it. And this Brahmin, he began to dance. So let's see, they showed him so much respect. If a Brahmin like me dances, then ah, oh, be so much more respect. So he began dancing, and then the snake charmer began beating him. <laughs> so that's a nice story. And then they're asking, why are you hurry us talk or So people would gather. This is very interesting. People would gather around uh, to see these symptoms of Haridas Thakur. You can imagine in this area here, people. Many people will gather to come and to, to see him. To see the unrestricted tears of love of God which drenched his entire body. Now, he's chanting Tinlak, 300,000 names, he's completely absorbed, he's not preaching as such, he's not strategically planning, but people are coming. His bhajan is there, he's come, he's come to chant the Holy Name, but he preaches. Many, many examples where he'll speak and, and quote Shastra, even though he's not a, not a Pandit or a Brahmin, he'll quote Shastra. And already thousands of people were attracted to Haridash Thakur and they're following him, even before Mahabrabhu appeared. This is even before Mahabrabhu appears, this Leela, because we heard Maharaj said that when Mahabrabhu appeared, Haridash Thakur and Advaita Thakur were in Shantipur, and they were dancing and chanting the holy name. Now when Haridash Thakur was residing here before he went to Shantipur, before he started associating with it. So he was already preaching and already attracting a following even before Mahabrabhu had appeared. 
So therefore, after Mahaprabhu's Bal Lila and Navadeep, after his Vidya Lila, we'll, we'll discuss more about Chaitanya Bhagavad in Bhenu. Bal Lila is there, and then the Vidya Lila, his pa scholarly pastimes, and then he goes to Gaya, he comes back, and then he's changed uh, Shankirtan, the, the begins the Sankirtan Lila in, in, in Shiva Shangit in Navadeep, and then only after that he begins the preaching. And who does he anoint as the principal preachers? Shano Shano Nitananda, Shano Haridash, Shabatra, Amaralka, I call the Hoprakash. All this in Nitta, he calls. That day, all of a sudden, the devotees weren't going out and doing Sankirtan. Nitananda and Haridas, Amaralka, I call the Hoprakash, Sabatra. You go and you spread my teachings everywhere. Prati Gore Gore Ghiye, Koro Epika, Bola Krishna, Bhaja Krishna, Koro Krishna Shikha. So Haridas Thakur, anointed by Shachinanda, he's the principal preacher. He's the foundational, the foundational preacher of, of our movement. Haridas Thakur, Shunu Nitananda, Shunu Haridas, Nitananda Prabhu and Haridas Thakur. It's not that when he, after he came here, where he, Shantipur, associating with, with Advaita Thakur, and then going to Mayapur, it's not that the people, continue, you know, they cease to gather around him. Is it that he stopped chanting three lakhs a day? He was... And in Mahababu's Leela, he was still doing that, and still he was, people were gathering around. So, naturally, he was already empowered. And in Mahababu, now you preach. That's why Harid, that's why he called Haridas, because already he was so empowered to spread the holy name. And in Nityananda Prabhu, Harinama Pradam Devam, he, he, the deity of giving the holy name. Puliya Gramete Jota Brahman Shokol. All of the Brahmins in this area here is a, it's not far from Shantipur or Gwagatako. This is a very aristocratic, even now, Shantipur in Bengal is considered very aristocratic for Brahminical culture and Bangla and, and literature, poetry, Shantipur. Even now, Bangla, the, the Shantipur Bangla. So from that time, this is a very aristocratic area of Brahmins and pandits and, and dharma and these things. Shokal Brahman. Puli Gramete Jota Shoko Jota Brahman Shoko. All of the Brahmins that are in this area. Shabai Pahane Deki Hoilo Bibal Singh. They when they would see him they'd all become astonished. Shabai Tahare Boro Jan Bishash and they all developed great faith in Haridash Thakur, all of the aristocratic Brahmins, the, the, the Janmilo Bishash, uh, Puliya Rohilin Prabhu Haridash, Puliya Rohilin Prabhu Haridash, when he was residing in, here in Puliya, all of the aristocratic Brahmins in this area took shelter of him and, and, and had great faith in him. So he lived here peacefully. Ma Ganga was somewhere here because he mentioned he was bathing three times a day, Ma Ganga. So at that time again, the local one, the local uh, mogul magistrate became envious. And again, is that again Benapal and then again? So he says to the he he told he, the, the local kaji, just like in my where we have the uh, Chan kaji. So the local another kaji in this area, local magistrate kaji. <clears throat> so he's he's feeling this envy toward Haridas Thakur. So he contacts the Nawab. This it seems to be the uh, Nawab Bhushan Shah because how many other Nawabs are there? There's Nawab, and he's the man, mm -hmm. Nawab. So Nawab, so Nawab Bhushan Shah is here. So anyway, whether they go there or maybe Nawab was touring, but they have a court. They take that. He say, he talks to the Nawab because the the, the the Nawab's palace is in Nalda, in Ram Kelly. That's a long way. But whether they went there or else the Nawab came here. But anyway, they <clears throat> so they imprisoned Haridash. And uh, of course, Haridas was, you know, he was not, not concerned about that. And he spoke, he, pre he was preaching, he began the jail preaching. Haridas Thakur, the founder of jail preaching. Yeah, he was preaching to them in the jail. When they, 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 Anu, Ajanu Lombita, Ajanu Lombita, Bhuja, Kamal Nayan, they're describing, when they saw the prisoners, and they, his, his arms stretched down to his knees. Kamal Nayan, his eyes were like lotus. Lotus petals. Shara Manohar Mukha Chandra Anupam. His face was so beautiful. His lotus eyes, his charming moonlike face enchanted everyone. 
And he began preaching to the prisoners. It's just got quite detailed preaching there. And, uh, and then he was brought before the Nawab. Ati Manu Harir Tejo Dekia Tahan Paramagodave Boshi Bari Dilostan. When he came before the Nawab, Ati Manu Hateja Dekia, the Nawab saw the Ati Manu Hateja, his extremely attractive effulgence. Ati Manu Hateja. Parama, and therefore Parama Gaurave, with great respect, the Nawab stood up. Boshi Bari Dilostan, and he offered Haridash Thakur a place to sit. And he began, there's this discussion. <coughs> that, you know, you've had the good fortune to be born in a Mughal family, but you behave like a Hindu. We don't even, we don't even touch rice, which is cooked by the Hindus. How do you expect to, to attain the platform of liberation if you behave like this? <laughs> you should recite the Chaha Kamla, that's some. That's a part of the, 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 the Quran where, where you 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 accept. You're saying that there's this kamla uchara. You should uh, Arabic the word or statement passage from Sadat Shashut or passage from the Quran indicating acceptance of the Mahabadan Islam religion. You should recite this. So Haridas Thakur, would you like to hear Haridas Thakur's response to this? So he sat there and he listened. And then he said that, My dear sir, Volite lagila tar madur utor shunubab shabare ek ishwar. Shunubab. Oh, listen, father. Bab, listen. Listen, uh, sir. Shunubab. Shabare ek ishwar. There is one God. There is one Supreme Lord. Volite lagile tar madur utor. His sweet response. <coughs> Na matro bed. Hindu jabone. Na matro bed. Hindu jabone. There's only, only the difference in the name. Paramartha ek. Kohe. Koran purane. Paramartha ek. Kohe Koran purane. This is into, again, Ariel Thakur, founder of interreligious dialogue. Founder of interreligious dialogue. He says that Paramartha ek. It's the same God. Which is described Kohe Koran Purane in the Quran and in the Puran Puranas. Ek Shuddha Nitta Boshtu Akhanda Abrai Puri Punno Hoylo Baishe Shabai Ridai. The same, he says that the, the pure, non dual, eternal, inexhaustible Lord sits in the heart of all beings. The same Lord sits in the heart of all beings. She Prabhur Nam Gun Shokal Jagate. All over the Shokal Jagate, all over the universe. She Prabhur Nam Guna. She Prabhur Nam Guna. That Prabhu's name and qualities. Shokal Jagate, all over the universe. Bolen Shokale Matra Nija Shastra Mote is described in all the different varieties of Shastra. That same Prabhu's name and qualities. His his inter-religious dialogue, you could write a whole PhD on this. <laughs> Just a few verses from Chaitanya Bhagavad. And then he concludes, Mahashai, Tumi Ebe, Koroho Bichar, Jodi Dosh Thake, Shashti Koroho Amar. So, great stuff, Mahashai. Oh, re re respectable sir, you consider this. Tumi Koroho Bichar, you consider what I've said. Jodi dosh thake, and if I am an offender, if I have done something, then uh, certainly you can punish me. And uh, the, the the point was that the point was that uh, well, the, the, even though the Nawab was very respectful, the local kashi was saying it, it's a, it's an insult, it's a public insult to us. We cannot tolerate that. We cannot condone. We cannot allow him to act like that. Uh, if we do that, then we're minimizing the respect of our religion. So we have to publicly punish him. <coughs> so then they called upon the, the sentries, the heavy, strong armed men, 
and they came and, 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 and they beat him. Harry does taco and this, you can imagine, they took him. They took it, the, the order was, to, the, the order was to, to have him beaten in 22 marketplaces. And then we'll see if, according as he says, that the same Ishvara, this great realized philosopher, if, it, if it's what is true, what he says, then his the Ishvara will protect him. Let's see. And then they began beating in the first marketplace. And then to a second, any normal, normal person wouldn't even sustain their life after the first beating. And then from one marketplace to another, they're taking him. Haridas Thakur simply remembering the holy name of the Lord. Therefore, Mahaprabhu referred to him as Prahlad Maharaj because of his remembrance. We consider him incarnation. Prahlad Maharaj because of his constant remembrance of the Lord, even under such extreme circumstances. The, in, b before that, the Haridas Thakur says, they're, they're, they're saying that the, 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 uh, the, the Nawab is saying, just preach from the Quran. And then that's all we want. That's all we have to do. Just preach from your own scripture and then we'll be satisfied. And stop this chanting. <clears throat> and then Haridas Thakur replies that Kanda Kanda Hoi Deho Joy Jodi Pran Double Ami Bada Name Da Chari Hari Nam. Even you cut my body into all this thing, into little pieces. And I lose my life. I'll never give up chanting the Holy Name. And so in the marketplace, they're taking him and beating him. And, and the pious people were falling, they're begging, falling at the feet of these uh, guards. These are big, heavy guys, big, with, with whips and sticks. And they're beating Haridas. And the pious people are falling at their feet. They're, Please beat us instead. How come we, you know, the, our whole, the whole village will be, will be destroyed because of us allowing such a, such a travesty? such an offense to such a devotee in our village. Please beat us instead and let him free. And this went on for the whole day. And then eventually, he's not dying. They're just beating him and beating him and then becoming exhausted. They're beating him so hard, they're becoming exhausted. He's still not dying. Any ordinary person would have died in the, after the beating in the first market. And then... Uh, <clears throat> They begin very worried. I mean, you know, if we are unable to kill him, then we're going to be killed. By the, so they're, they're speaking to Haridas, why don't you die? Haridas in meditation on the holy name, he says, oh, you want me to die? If you, if we don't, if you don't die, we'll be killed. Oh, then certainly, then watch me die. Haridas, watch you. And he goes into a deep samadhi, which appears like he's dead. And then they, okay, let's throw his body in the Ganga. So they go, they throw him in. The, he was, he was so, involved in such meditation, they couldn't lift him. They couldn't carry him. So then, <clears throat> eventually, Aradash Thakur agreed. They went and threw his body in the Ganga. Aradash Thakur is completely absorbed in the Holy Name. He's not even aware of the external crisis that he is going through. And then he comes back to consciousness somewhere here in the Ganga. He comes back and then he comes up. And then again, it was in this area, it wasn't in... Because again, they saw him. The local people, again, they saw him. The Kazi, they saw him. He came again. And then they... Uh, I realized what a great soul we should have heard us talk about. And then, then of course, you know, the humility of Haridas Thakur, we we're hearing, we can go to Jagannath Puri, humility. Mahaprabhu took sannyas, with him were four people when he went to Puri. Nityananda Prabhu, uh, Mukunda Datta, Damada Pandit, and yeah, Chandrasekhar. So then, Haridas Thakur wasn't there. So Mahaprabhu went to Puri, and then he went on South Indian tour for two years. At that time, Advaita Acharya, Garadha Pandit, Srivast Thakur, all of the intimate devotees, they remained in Mayapur. After the Shantipur uh, festival, then they went back to Mayapur, and only four, per four persons accompanied Mahaprabhu. So then for that two-year period, Mahaprabhu in South India, all the Navadipasis are in separation, doing Sankirtan in Mayapur. And then, who comes to the door one day? Kala Krishna Das. Kala Krishna Das, who had accompanied Mahaprabhu on the South Indian tour. He got carried away by the Bhattakari gypsy women. Mahaprabhu personally rescued him. And when Mahaprabhu came back to, to Puri, he said, I don't want to keep this fellow around anymore. So then Nithananda Prabhu, he's thinking, how can we give some seva to this, to this Kala Krishna? So they sent him to Navadip with Mahaprasad of Jagannath 
to tell Sachimata and Advaita Thakur that Gauranga had returned from the South Indian tour and uh, you, you can come to Jagannath Puri. So that was the first, that's described in detail, Chaitanya Charanamrita. The Veda Kirtan Pasna, chapter 11. Madhulila, the arrival. Gauda Hoite Bhaishna, Vashiyak Chindu, Shakta, Mahaprabhur Bhakti Shab, Mahabhavavata. Gobinath Acharya announces to the king, the Puri, that Gauda Hoite, from Bengal, Vaishna, Ashiyat Chindu, 200 devotees, and they're, they're waiting on the banks of Narendra Sarabha. Mahaprabhur Bhakti Shab, Mahabhavavata. They're all Mahabhagavatas, Mahabhagavatas devotees, as they arrive. So amongst that, and then uh, Kariyaj goes something he, dis he mentions, it's a very elaborate description of their arrival. And the king sees the kirtan, Ache Mipto, Ache Prem, Ache Hari Dhoni, Kaha Nahi Deki, Ache Kaha Nahi Shuni. Such dancing, such love, such chanting of the holy names, I've never seen, I've never heard. The king of Puri. Shaharidaj Thakwa, he was amongst that assembly. And then after arriving, they're coming, they're doing Sankatan, then they came to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Mahaprabhu was seeing all the devotees after two years, not seeing the Navadeep Basis, meeting with them. <coughs> and then Mahaprabhu says, where is Haridas? Haridas Kotai, where is Haridas? And they said, oh, he's back on the road. He's back, he's still lying down there, back on the road. He's not coming close to you. And then they, 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 they call, they, they, Haridas, why not? If, if I go close to the temple of Lord Jagannath, then, then perhaps his servants will touch me. That will be a great offense on my behalf. So I'm not going close to the temple, just in case that happens. So Haridas Thakur never even went close to the Jagannath temple. What to speak of trying to enter the Jagannath temple? Out of genuine humility, thinking that if, if, if the Jagannath Shabok, if they touch me, that what an offense I, I will be, such an offender to the Lord. <clears throat> and then Mahaprabhu, he discussed, so then you give me a place where I can see the chakra on top of the temple. And then he remained, Haridash Thakur, he, he remained in Jagannath Puri. And at Shiddha And Mahaprabhu, every day after the Mongolati, he would take the Mahaprasadam and give to Haridash Thakur. And then Haridash Thakur, it appears that in the attempt to go to Vrindavan, when Maha, as we mentioned, after two years more, he came two years to a he remained in Puri two years and then he was allowed and Haridas Thakur came at that time all the eventually he, he gets permission to go to Vrindavan, he comes here to Godadesh. All the all the devotees who from Bengal, they Haridas Thakur was also came back here also. Again Shantipur, again Vidyanagar, all the way to Ram Kelly. Because when Rupa and Sanatan, Adgaratri in the middle of the night, when they came from their from their palace, from their residence to see Mahabrabhu in the middle of the night. The first people they met were Nityananda Prabhu and Haridash Thakur. So Haridash Thakur was accompanying Mahaprabhu to Ram Kelly and then Mahaprabhu's pastor. Srila Haridash Thakur ki? Shama Bhetu Gaur Bhakti Vrindagi. Shishi Nita Gaur Shita Nata Pramanandi. Srila Prabhupada. Shall we do Kirtan? A few minutes Kirtan? We were staying here how much longer?
Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama.